Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, I'm gonna do something with animation nodes, but I will still be using these uh, freestyles to grease pencil uh, technique that we learned in previous live coding. So it's gonna be super simple. Um, I'm gonna jump to animation nodes right away. And uh, since I will be using the script, I will load it into the text editor. Um, just drag the freestyle to grease pencil script, put it here, and this is a Python script that we just run it once and you can see here we have now freestyle to grease pencil option okay we can hide that bit and save this as animation nodes um, grease pencil snapshot so we will be basically creating a simple animation using animation nodes um, it's gonna be procedural and then we're gonna use this freestyle to grease pencil to take a snapshot on every single frame so I'll set this quickly to 50 frames and I'm gonna animate this real quick so the easiest way of course just to use this uh, object transform output and just grab our object and this guy is gonna calculate on every frames I will turn it off make sure it just uh, updates only when I change the property or just like uh, this tree okay the next thing we want to do activate the locations and I'll, I'm gonna use vector wiggle nodes for this plug this into the location use a frame plug this into the evolutions and right away we have this animations uh, maybe an increase the animation a little bit so this is a bit more exciting to look I can actually plug this into the scale if I'm not wrong um, it should generate like a scaling but it's not like randomized so I need to actually randomize the seed for the scale um, don't worry about the scale for now just rotation for rotation actually we should probably use a Euler wiggle frame into the C the evolutions and Euler into rotations. Now we should have our objects rotating while animating as well. Okay, so now let's test our freestyles to grease pencil thing. First of all we also need to have camera. create new camera and then view align view active camera to view and I think we can just render this out now um, maybe I need to turn on this ambient occlusion just in case so we have this cube and then it crashes somehow I'll restart blender real quick uh, I remember uh, it needs to actually have a grease pencil data block in order for the script to run totally forgot about that sorry um, just gonna restart blender real quick I think I saved the blend so don't worry about it so I'll save as we need to reload the script once again See, we have freestyle already on here, but we need to rerun the script like that to get this extra panel. Now I just uh, just draw like a random grease pencil. Look at it from the camera, and hopefully it doesn't crash this time. I'm just gonna do a quick render. Please don't crash. Okay, it doesn't crash and we have our freestyle working. Um, the next thing is if we go back to 3D view, you can see that we have now the grease pencil uh, being generated. And this is the freestyle line set. I just can delete my own grease pencil layer. The nice thing about this is that we can enable this uh, keep, keep mode with the keep mode we actually gonna have like a trail for every frame um, 
that's actually really cool if you like to have like frame every five frames you can also do that um, I will try and just render every five frames so hit animations hopefully it doesn't crash so now it's taking um, like a grease pencil snapshot every five frames and it's gonna generate this uh, freestyle data for grease pencil so it's really cool we can do this using sphere chalk as well and with sphere chalk it's easy to modify the the, the cube for the sh cube shape uh, the shapes of the cube actually um, you can see now we have the trail going on um, yeah so that's actually the, the main idea here. I can try randomizing the scale using uh, number wiggle. So number wiggle is just a random value kind of going in a noise kind of fashion. I will randomize the seed actually like that and turn on scale I think this should generally work factor in plug this guy in there actually combine vector is the right one plug this into the scale and I think this should generate like a more random animation Maybe the this vector wiggle is too strong. I'll reduce the value. This guy. Uh, I think that's a little bit more interesting. So I'll render everything again, but I'll do it for every frame, which is generated procedurally using animation nodes, and then. For each frame, we have this snapshot of freestyle, which is the, the outline renderer in Blender. And the data gonna transfer into Grease Pencil, and we can see the whole animation as um, Grease Pencil. Um, you can later like further uh, process the Grease Pencil data using Sphere Chalk, which is, I think I'll do that in the next live noting. For this now, uh, this one, it's just we're gonna see the grease pencil for every single frame what's interesting is that if we can kind of combine the whole grease pencil well we can kind of see like a trailing happening um, grease pencil is apparently very very efficient uh, you can have like a very complex grease pencil and still looks nice in 3d and because it's like open gl kind of thing so it's pretty fast Okay, now we are done with the animation. Just hit escape. And there you go. There's actually like a trail from the previous one, but don't worry about that. I, I forgot to erase that one. I hide the cube. You see now, uh, I can kind of run the animations and then I can kind of rotate as well up to certain distance and you can see the grease pencils is going on I think it's a very cool effect um, I don't know if we can just combine the whole animation using this this thing right here uh, the dope sheet maybe I can just scale it scale everything into a single frame Yeah, apparently it doesn't work like that. There must be a way to kind of combine all the frames into a single frames. I'm kind of curious about that. But anyhow, this is the result. If you look at it from camera, playback, you can see the animation there. I think it's a very nice effect. Um, I don't know how this is going to be used for, but still kind of need to have uh, the outline 
like that. Uh, definitely something for you to try. Um, hopefully, yeah, you find this live noting useful, even though it's super basic. But let me know what you think, and if you know how to combine the grease pencil frame into a single frame, you know, like previous and before and after, just uh, let me know. Uh, maybe onion skinning. Actually, yes, onion skinning kind of give you that. Um, but it's only if we are like static. Still kind of useful to see this. Um, yeah, before after. Maybe we can change the color. So. Oh, I think gris pencil is really powerful. It's uh, one of my favorite feature of Blender. If going, we going through it frame by frame, you can see the whole animations actually. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you find this useful. Um, thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.